Hi, in the last lecture, we talk about forms in HTML very detail. Now, in this lecture, we talk about what are tables in HTML. So first, get rid of these forms tags. Save it and here refresh. So tables, tables are very useful to manage data like spreadsheet or excel sheet. These are very handy way to explain data in very clear form. So first one, there is a table tag. I write here table. In table tag, there are two things. First one, table head and the second one, table body. In table head, we write the name of our whole column and in table body, we write the data that we show in the browser. So first, I write here table head, t head, and in table head, I write a tr, table row tag, and in table row tag, first one, I write here th, that stands for table head. I write here th for this. In th, I write here name. This is our one row. Now, in second one, I simple copy it here th, that's for table head, and I write here color. If I save it and here refresh, so you can see name and color are in very bold form because these are written in table head. Now our table head is now complete. The next one is table body that is t body tag and in table body I write a row table row and in table row first one I write td that stands for table data. I write here td, so the td. So in table data, first I write here name John, and in this row I write another data td. I write here red because our first in first row first table head name that we hear first row, my first data is John and the in first row the second column is color and I write in TD tags in second column red. If I save it and refresh so you can see here in name column there is a John and in color there is a red and this is a normal text and this is a bit bold because this is a table head. So in second row I simply copy it all row and here I pasted it and write oop and uh, color name yellow. If I save it and refresh, so you can see here oop another name in another row added and oop and yellow is in row. The second one, if I copy this and paste it here, the third row and I name it Cal and the color name red. If I save it and refresh, so you can see here another row is added and columns, the names and the color. So this is the table tag. I summarize it. First one, I write a table main tag that open it here and close it and down. In table, there is two things. First one is table head that we see here. This is a boulder on the top of the column. In table head, I write a table row tag. That is a one row. Name and color that is a one row. One row, in one row, table row, I write a further th that stands for table head tag. I write first in table head name that appear in there. 
and in the second column uh, you call it color that is in one row now here is table body table body starts from here and end it here in table body first i write a table row that is our first row here john and red that is our first row in first row i write a two entities in table data td first one i call it john that is the name and the second td i call it red that is the color name similarly table row in next one and that is the next row and that is a third one row and right here third one that stands for tr and that start out with tr and add with tr that stands for table row in a table row there are two columns td table data and td red so that is the lecture so kindly like it and subscribe our channel for this latest video and hit the bell icon thanks for watching